so we are in France, Toulouse, the world's first and only agricultural robotic show. I'm saying the show, but you will explain the details of the event actually. Global Organization for Agricultural Robotics, exactly. GoFAR, GoFAR, is the organizer of this event. You're right. What is the event? Because we are seeing a lot of machinery, a lot of robots working in the field, and there are a lot of people visiting here, all students from lycée or in university, and uh, for business people from around the world. And also we are here. Uh, I, this is my second time actually here, but you will explain more details than me. Thank you very much, Omar. Yeah, all right. Uh, this is the FIRA event that we've launched in 2019, in 2016, actually. So it's the ninth edition. Wow. And uh, we can say that people are more and more coming. And as you mentioned, there are a lot of uh, of uh, business, there are a lot of farmers also that are coming from France, but not only. We have uh, farmers from all around the world uh, coming in delegations and uh, coming to visit the show and really understand what is about automation nowadays and what are the solutions for their farms for their today challenges such as, you know, the labor shortage or the environmental impact uh, of the activity. So you can see in the field that there are a lot of machines uh, yeah. that are doing also the demos on real fields. Uh, those are the vineyards that we have to set up, of course, on purpose. But then we have radish, we have uh, faba beans and other crops to make sure that people that are visiting the show can see the robots in action and in real condition. Okay. This is um, a very unique event, actually because there are no tractors. I saw a few tractors, but some of them using uh, some materials to transport, maybe some technical supports and only one prototype. All robots uh, can work by itself. Yeah. So a very unique uh, area. This is the future of agriculture, actually I can say. Maybe the, the small part or specific part of the future, but this is real. It happens now. Exactly. So why do you choose this area, uh, this autonomous agricultural robots area? Oh, you mean that, uh, why did you choose to focus really on this? Well, the tools for the farmers have been evolving centuries after centuries, decades after decades. And now we are entering the new era of machinery with the robots and the automation in farming. So we think that it's very important to make sure that people in this new era are gathering to help the development of this new industry. So it's, of course it's for farmers, but it's not only for farmers because the, this industry has to gather all the key players of the value chain and I think also about the dealers that are big parts of uh, this uh, value chain. They need to be at the heart to understand what's new what they can propose to their clients today and uh, that's also why we are here. We also want to have, you know, the research at the universities to be part of the, of the, of the show because they are also bringing, you know, the, the, these technologies and these advances to uh, the industry and to make this technology transfer is also very, very important for us at FIRA. Also, I saw a few global tractor brands yeah. uh, who are interested in ro agricultural robotics. Uh, what do they think about the organization, the, the people who come here and interested in their products or organization or event? I mean the John Deere or New Holland that are coming, we are also Kubota. That's true actually, when you can see there is a New Holland tractor, yeah. for sp a specialist tractor with a um, with this is a um, guide, guiding system that is autonomous actually. And so you can see that more and more OEMs the, the, the historic tractor manufacturer are coming because many, many reasons, and I won't take the, the word for them, but I think there are two main reasons. They are developing more and more automation. We can see that a lot of tractors now are already almost autonomous. And also because I think they are very interesting and we can feel that at FIRA to build partnerships with the startups that are really actually building uh, the, the robots. I want to take uh, one example. For example, there is a, a New Holland. We don't have them here, but they are partnering with two startups. Uh, there is one called Stout Technologies and another one that's called Blue White from Israel. Uh, those two are partnering with New Holland to help in their development. Another example is uh, John Deere partnering with Gus. Uh, that's from uh, the US. 
and it's another kind of partnership. But in any case, they are taking part to this development and that's a very, very big change that we are really feeling since maybe three years, you know. Um, you said uh, US. At the end of the year, I think uh, there is another event at USA. Yeah, so. right. Uh, please give me some more information about the second part. Exactly. So we've launched the FIRA in the USA in 2023. Uh, it's in California. Yeah. And we are partnering with the University of California, the ANR department, mm -hmm. and Western Growers Association. Mm -hmm. We are co-organizing this event together. And it's the same format than here, actually. You are in the fields, you can see the machines in demo. But there are different machines because it's a different market. And the idea of this other FIRA was really to bring the solutions to the US market at one point and to, again, gather everyone around automation and to make sure that people can find the right solution at one show. Perfect. Gwendolyn, congratulations for your efforts you. and this great event. Thank you very much. So, uh, see you next time at maybe in USA. Why not? Or Thank maybe the, another uh, event in another country. Who knows? <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you very much.